Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When a man has been on the radio for a long time, people don't recognize that the world has changed. We don't always have radio stations where DJs sit inside and talk, but sometimes we do. We also don't always have television stations where people walk in front of a camera anymore. If you've noticed, a lot of reporters are doing things from their homes and talking just as if they were in the studio today. Because of the time of pandemic, because of the time of epidemic, we have to understand what we're doing today. What I've learned is that so many journalists are now working from home and so many people are doing things differently. I predict that the movies of the future are going to be like that. That a person who's from Hollywood is going to actually put themselves in their home in front of a green screen, like I used to for me, and they're going to do their acting bit for their part. And my guess is that they'll have some marvelous person who's sort of a stand-in or a look-alike be the physical form that blocks the space of which another actor will be eventually penciled in or photoshopped in, or I hate to call it, Adobe premiered in, but I don't know exactly what software that every company these days use. My software is always Sony Vegas, and in alignment with that, I prefer that to other softwares. It's not that I don't like Premiere, it's just that I've spent a thousand some dollars to learn that. And when I talk about that, I had the marvelous luck of borrowing some money and paying it back. And that's what allowed me to learn that. I took out a loan, and I learned the program, and I paid it back shortly after with the money I earned from doing the work with that. You see, in order to improve our skill sets, we often have to go off and get a certification on something. When my son was learning to become more of a gentleman, I put him through skills path seminars that would go to our weekend college environment. I'm not sure if the Community College of Indiana or Ivy Tech is still in its location across from Carmel High School, but it might be. And that's where we did a lot of that study. It's also where I ran into an old high school friend, but I didn't really pronounce a lot. I helped her that day, and that was the end of that. In life, we have moments of time to talk about the truth. And the truth is, people often look up their old alma mater. They often look up their old friends. But what they find is that old friends don't always become faithful friends. Because everyone in life has moved on. Everyone in life has grown. Everyone in life has had new experiences or creates them. And everyone in life has to do that in order to grow. If you're not willing to grow, then you're probably not a good friend for me because I am constantly growing, constantly thinking, constantly thinking of new concepts and new ideas to make a living. And I know that in today's world, we're going to have major shifts in society, major changes in industry, and we are not producing children in universities that are going off to much notoriety is somewhat true. If they're going off in life sciences, then they probably got a job in the future because we're going to have to keep battling these biotechnic and technological hacking things because people are under attack every day. We are literally being attacked by people who work in retail. We're being attacked by people who work in fast food. We're being attacked because these people think that they have rights to monkey with us. I don't know what generation they came out of. I don't know what station of life their parents brought them up in. But what I know is that they're being immoral. They're lying to themselves about their rights. The sanitation of food is essential to us today. The protection of farmland is absolutely essential today. The reserve of our oils and our natural gases and our upcoming solar power resources are huge today. If you're looking for new industries, then you might look into the... Um, and I'm losing the name, the Bleacher Report, I think it's called. But anyway, there's actually a magazine that talks about new tech coming down the pike or that could be here. You see, you have to stay informed. And a lot of people use social media not only to stay informed on their friends and families and their business colleague networks and who's getting married and who's having babies and all the personal stuff and personal junk that doesn't pay and make a living, but they're also using places like Twitter and YouTube and Vimeo and whatnot in order to create that living or in order to abuse nobody's rights but just to stay up on the news today. One of the things I'm suffering from right now is not being able to get my instant news like I used to with my Twitter accounts because some marvelous back bastard or some techno geek who's overweight in a staple shop has interfered with my lawful rights to my Twitter accounts. They're claiming that my that my accounts are suspended. Why? I'm a fucking homeless man. What the fuck did I say? And what the fuck did I do that pissed off somebody in some fucking big company that says, you're not going to do that to us, really? 
Maybe it's your fucking employees that did shit to me. So why don't you take accountability for hiring the wrong fucking people? Why don't you take accountability and actually take your fucking HR department and go do a review and find out what the fuck happened to me? Because you're the one with the marvelous millions of dollars and otherwise you look like Goliath shitting all over David. David and Goliath stories don't happen every day, but let me tell you, when you start fucking somebody's life, you screw your life in front of God. God did not put you on God's green earth for you to become God in the world. We got a lot of techno giants that are interfering with our lawful rights to make businesses. Everybody's saying, get online, do this online, do that online. Affiliated marketing came out in time. And great, we got people like Trisha Meyer who can kick ass and make millions of dollars for her family through through that because she studied it, she worked it, and she's one of the leading women in that, allegedly, where she's produced herself as that. But every year we come out with new technology, new advancements, and we're always expected to keep up. But a lot of people don't want to. A lot of people are tired of that, and a lot of people are tired of their minutes on their phone being pocketed so that they never get any responses. But we also have techno geeks in those companies that say, oh, you don't need to get your stuff today, we don't care about you, and this guy's called, so it must be legitimate, so we're just going to turn you off. And then a business just totally crashes and burns. You see, we can't do that. Under our laws, we cannot interfere like that as a conglomerate with small business owners because it was small business owners that built America. And the big businesses we have today were dreamed up by the small business owner who figured out how to finance them, who figured out how to build them, and who figured out how to government, get government support. And boom, now we got automobiles all over the place that half of us can't afford.